Petition to revoke Hype's leading company status gains enough signatures for National Assembly. Hype faces increased backlash with 50,000 signatures on petition to revoke top job creator selection. Ministry of Culture and Ministry of Labor receive additional complaints. A petition urging the revocation of Hype's selection as a top job creator by the Ministry of Employment and Labor has reached 100% support. The petition titled Petition to Revoke Hype's Top Job Creator Selection posted on the National Assembly's online petition board on October 30, gained approximately 50,000 signatures within 10 days, surpassing the 100% mark on November 9. The petition was started after internal document leaks revealed that some Hype employees had allegedly monitored and disparaged artists from other companies. The leaked documents fueled extreme public outrage and, hence, gathered a large number of signatures in a short time. As of November 9, KST, the petition had 50,000 signatures, making it eligible to proceed to the National Assembly. It can be passed on as an item for evaluation by the National Assembly's Environment and Labor Committee. Every year, 100 companies get the leading company and workplace title from the Ministry of Employment and Labor, each of them representing the different labor industries in the country. In 2024, both Hype and Waverse Company were among those 100. But after the claims of harassment levered against the label by New Jeans, Representative Park Hong Bae urged the ministry to strip Hype's top company title during a National Assembly audit in mid-October. The Blue House petition also argued that there is already a precedent of a company being removed from the top company list, dating back to April 2022. It urged the government to take similar steps with Hype. Netizens have broadly supported this petition, celebrating its completion of 50,000 required signatures. Let's go. It's hilarious that it is still considered a top-tier company. Hype Entertainment should undergo some investigation. Let's do a tax audit. What are your thoughts on this?